Secure Ninja TV is in breezy Hawaii this week and we're doing a little bit of networking. Now speaking about networking, fiber optic cables are a critical part of networks of all sizes, but they're rarely seen outside of a data center. So let's take a closer look. Secure Ninja. Hi everyone, Andrew from Secure Ninja here, and we're at TechNet Indo Pacific in Hawaii. It's 2022, it's April, and we're here with Ashley from Corning Optical Communications. Yes, excellent. Hi. How are you doing, Ashley? I'm doing great. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Excellent. Well, listen, thanks very much for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, I teach Security Plus and a lot of security certifications, and we talk about fiber a lot. It's great to actually physically see the fiber, and thanks for taking the time to talk to us. I so you have a couple of connectors for us here. Could you explain the difference between them, please? Yes, absolutely. So this cable right here, this fiber, is a Sam Charlie or SC connector. This small one here is a Lima Charlie or LC connector. You'll notice the difference in the ferrule sizes here. And the Lima Charlie is a much more dense connector. So when we're patching, we've got, we can put more connectors in a patch cable. Excellent. And this one is convenient. It has the um, transmit and receive very close to each other as well. Correct. Now, one of the things I've seen in data centers when I've worked in them is occasionally human beings get the transmit and the receive size muddled. Now, there can be a human mistake, but right. it can also be different modes of operation as well and different requirements for the equipment. You guys have a little trick in case that happens. This is a reverse polarity patch cord, and what's nice about it is um, we can actually just pull the boot back, then we're going to push the clip back, and we're going to turn these keys or these connectors around. We'll flip it back, push the boot and the uh, clip back up. And now we have reversed the polarity. You can see that they have changed. So the silk screen here is going to be in opposite directions, and the black one here is going to show the arrow in the same direction. So we can see we've reversed the polarity on one end. That's excellent. I wish I had those in the data center I worked in. That would have saved a lot of time. Absolutely. I see, going back to our SC connector, Ashley, yes. um, this is a slightly interesting cable as well. This looks very convenient. Tell us a little bit about this cable. So this cable is a, an, um, it's a composite cable. So we have our single single mode fiber, one fiber running through this with our SC connector. We also have a copper uh, conductor for power. So we're actually running DC power um, as well as fiber under this one cable jacket. Excellent. And this is an internal cable, but you could have a slightly different cable or coating if you wanted to go between buildings, for instance. Absolutely, yes. And this is going to power our ONT. Could you show us the ONT? Yes. Please, so actually. in this particular one, we have an optical network terminal, so an ONT. So we're going to take our Sam Charlie connector and we'll plug it in here. Then we also have our power, so we can plug it in here. And we have our power and our fiber in this ONT. And then coming out of the front or any of these other, we'll take our uh, small copper patch cord. And then this would go to a device such as a wireless access point, a camera, or something like that. So now we have power and fiber at this unit. Excellent. So maybe if it was at a slightly remote location, we wouldn't have to have power in the rack for this device. Correct. Excellent. And maybe we would have a camera or something powered with solar power, something like that. Correct. Excellent. Well, that's all very interesting. Um, I see you also have a selection of external uh, fibers over here for us. Could you tell us a few about a few things about these? Yes. So we'll start with this one first. This is an indoor-outdoor cable. And and so what makes this an indoor outdoor cable is it has the characteristics for an outside. So it's going to have a black jacket for UV resistance. It also is going to have water blocking materials in the event it water comes in. So um, if water happens to freeze, it could crush the fiber. So we try to keep the water out of the cable. 
And um, you were also mentioning this is plenum rated. This one is, so we can do riser or plenum. And the reason why we would want to do this is when we're running a standard outside plant cable into a building, we can only go 50 feet before having to demark um, into a fire rated cable. So this allows us to stip, skip that demark and go straight into a riser or a plenum space. Excellent. Also, so you've got a couple of uh, internal cables. Could you tell us a little bit about both of these? Yes, so we have two variations of an inside plant cable. We have the industry colors here. So a standard industry color for single mode is yellow. And the standard industry color for a 50 micron OM3 or OM4 is going to be aqua. We have two different uh, options here of this armor. This armor is, we have a dielectric armor here, and then we have a corrugated steel armor here. So one has obviously a little more crush resistance, but the um, this specific um, um, dielectric armor is very lightweight, can hang on J-hooks. Okay, excellent. And um, those are the internal ones, and we also have a, a, a another external cable. This is a beefy looking cable. This what, what, is, what and it is. What capacity does this have? This is strictly an outside plant cable. Again, it's a black jacket for UV. We also have um, water blocking materials inside the jacket here. This is a uh, this capacity here is going to be up to 144 fibers. Loose tube design. We can actually go up to 432 fibers. This specific one is 144 as each one of these buffer tubes is going to have 12 independent fibers inside each of these buffer tubes. And then we'll have one central member for pulling when we're pulling this cable into an outside plant environment. And to give it a little extra strength. That's Correct. Awesome. Well, Ashley, that's been uh, fascinating. Thank you very much for taking the time to explain all this to us. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure talking to you. We'll see Thank you again you. sometime at Secure Nature TV. Sounds great. Thank you. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and to like. We have a lot more content coming from Hawaii. I'm Andrew Howard from Secure Ninja TV. See you all again soon.